from the St. Ignatius Chapel at the Manresa Jesuit Spiritual Renewal Center in Pickering, Ontario. The National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Sunday TV Mass. Before the daily TV Mass begins today, let us take a moment to hold all those impacted by Hurricane Helene in our prayers. St. Genevieve, the patron saint of those experiencing disaster, take our prayers to God. Ask that he bless each person affected by Hurricane Helene and surround them with his love, protection, and angels. Lord, we know that even in the darkest hours, you are always with us. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of the Sunday TV Mass for the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm Bishop Tony Daniels. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions of three donors. The first is the estate of Joanna Bivelds in memory of Joanna, who passed away on October 5th, 2022. The second is Barbara from Toronto and family in loving memory of their mother, Florence Otto, who died on October 12th, 2023, at 99 and a half years old. The third is an anonymous donor from Vancouver, British Columbia, in loving memory of Auntie Ruby Chung. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of these masses. Today, the daily the Daily TV Mass community welcomes and begins a week of Masses for Prayers for Life. We are grateful to the Archdiocese of Vancouver's Respect for Life Office, who shared the prayer for reverence of life with us, so that we may come together as a community to pray for these core values of our Catholic faith. Please join us now in the prayer for the reverence of life. Let us pray together. For life in the womb, coming from your creative power. For the life of children, making us glad with their freshness and promise. For the life of young people, hoping for a better world. For the life of people who are disabled, teaching us that every life has value. For the life of the elderly, witnessing to the ageless values of patience and wisdom. Like Blessed Mary, May we always say yes to your gift. May we defend it and promote it from conception to its natural end. And bring us at last, O Father, to the fullness of eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At each of our Masses this week, we will focus on a different line of the prayer. And on Sunday, October 12th, Our Lady Saturday, we will conclude by asking our Blessed Mother, to intercede on our behalf by bringing our prayers for life before the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin our celebration, let us ask the Lord to make us worthy by forgiving our sins. You are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are Lord of life and Prince of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. 
For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and put him in the garden of Eden to till it and keep it. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone, so I will make him a helper and a partner. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. Therefore a man leaves his mother, his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruits of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy, and it shall go well with you. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Nor shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May the Lord bless us all the days of our reading from the letter to the Hebrews, 
We do indeed see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many sons and daughters to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified are all from one. And for this reason, he is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Some Pharisees came and to test Jesus they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? Jesus answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. But from the very beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, therefore, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. In the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. And Jesus said to them, whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel reading, which echoes our first reading, is a wonderful reading. I can't help but think that whoever wrote our first reading had a very personal experience in his life where he was looking for a companion, a wife. Probably took years to find. But eventually he found that one woman who completed him, who he knew was his soulmate, that he knew that if they were not joined together as one, they would never be happy in their lives. When Jesus is asked about divorce, he turns us back to the very mind and heart of God. He asks us to reflect and what God's intention is in marriage, what God's intention is for a husband and wife. One of the things that we know is that if we reflect carefully on God's intentions, on what is in God's heart and mind, and follow it, we will always find joy. We will always find peace. Peace. 
we are asked not only to reflect on what God has asked, but to turn to God, who is the author of marriage. And when we struggle, we turn back in our minds and hearts to the original intentions of God. And we pray to the Lord for grace, for salvation, and for joy. Together now, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and dreaded in the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. There he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord's word, the Lord's words to her would be fulfilled. Like Mary, let us now trust that he will hear our prayers. For the church, that she, like the Virgin Mary, may bring Christ into the world with joy and be joined with him in endless life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God grant us the courage to embrace his precious gift of life even in the most difficult of circumstances. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children who have died from abortion and for their mothers and fathers, for mercy, peace, and the loving embrace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayer intentions, for the respect for life listed in the daily mass uh, prayer intentions book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, hear the prayers that we have placed before you in the name of Jesus, our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Friends, pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands. And through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. And the passion of his cross, he freed us from unending death and called us to the glory that has made us a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people set apart. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. We gather.